Spotify crew. So let's see how this one's going to go. Once again, Beast representing MPT and Pennsylvania going up against Hydra. New Age, New Jersey. Starting probably, of course, and here it is. PS2. That's our seventh Speaking game in a row on, on PS2. I'm not complaining, hey man. I love, I love me some PS2. Oh my god, Beast already starting off with a crazy Squirtle combo. That's the thing. You can't let Palu get set up in the center uh -huh. of the stage. I mean, she's definitely, you know, kind of like a hybrid zoner in the fact where she can zone you if she wants to, but she can also play in your face. So it's definitely Beast saying, you know what? I'm not going to let you get comfortable at all. You're going off stage as soon as possible. Exactly. You're going to hold these backers. You're going to hold my crazy Squirtle. I'm going to hold forward. And you're going to have to deal with it. Yep, very true. Beast doing a really good job of getting around the Palu stuff until now, but Ooh. good conversion right into the explosive flame. Percentages are even. So let's see uh -huh. what the edge guard's going to be from Hydra. Ooh. Definitely wasn't expecting the down air, and I feel like that's kind of a very common Ivysaur thing to do where you just kind of like throw an aerial. But this is what I was talking about earlier with the edge guarding. How do you get around? Oh Hydra gosh. and all of these Pally moves. It's so scary, too, because, like, if Hydra knows you're going to be coming on the stage, you're not just going to jump off from ledge. He has all these arrows, all these options to kind of grab Beast. And he's out here. Oh, my God. That down is at a really weird angle. He's able to get back on this ledge. See if he can get oh, no. He gets hit with the down air again. Beast has no way to go, anywhere to go right now. He's not going to be able to get off this ledge successfully once. Oh, my God. Yeah, getting clipped by the wow. explosive flame there. Definitely not going to be Beast's favorite thing. But I talked about this a little bit earlier. Palatina edge guard so good. It doesn't matter what Pokemon you're on. You have to get on as fast as possible. 100%. So now oh. going to be able to find the down here. Can't find the read on the roll in with the down smash. So we're going now onto the Palatina pain train. A couple more nares. And now this is where kind of Beast, I feel like, it's kind oh. of a test of time. He's going to get the forward yep. throw okay, and the stock here. But now, how do you come back without getting angry? You come back with like angry. You switch the Squirtle. <laughs> <laughs> you get a grab. I think, oh my God, that big downer from Hydra. Hydra, it's the thing. Hydra, his awareness of like his opponent's like mindset at all times is so scary. It's like he knows exactly what you want at all times. But Beast is not worried about that though. Yeah. Beast is going. Oh my. Ooh. Yeah, that could have been definitely a little bit troubling, but Beast going to go for the back throw here. Hydra oh going to get pushed off into the stage. Teleport recoveries Ooh. are very good. Yes, yeah, so he's going to be able missed. to make it back. Beast, though, going to almost get clipped by the explosive flame. Great Vine Whip, though, to create some more space. All right, Beast backing off here, trying to get his uh, Razor Leaf, trying to get something crazy started. Oh, no, up air there, too. Let's see if he can find this kill there. Oh, it's so scary. Hydra missing the up smash out of shield. Take the stock of Hydra now. <laughs> if, if, if you let Hydra put in... What, What's happening? The, the neutral's getting a little bit sticky from both players Scary. there. Scary. Yeah, Beast was definitely facing the wrong way a couple oh, times. Kill. Oh, yeah, but wow. good mash out coming out from Hydra here. Does have center stage. Let's see what they can do with it. Oh, good the back air. Goes straight to the wall. Oh my god. Yeah, Beast gonna. Oh god, that air dodge in was so scary. Oh. The tip of the wing is going to clip. And now, if you know anything about this player, it's 110 looking really good for the Zard. Let's see how much uh -oh. damage he can get. But once again. You go over, if Beast goes over 130, you're not taking the stock anytime soon. Uh, I don't know about all that, but once again, Hydra's uh -oh. doing a really good job of zoning out with that Palutena back air. But now here comes the edge guard. I love how Hydra's just uh -oh. dash dancing Stop. and waiting for uh -huh. him to commit to an option. So smart. Like when you think of a character with crazy, you don't think of really like Palutena as your first option, right? Like you have a, the teleport that the the. the uh, the teleporting cancel. You don't really think about like just the walking, the back and back and forth, the dash dancing. But Hydra is just there. Like the mind games you can play with just Palutena just sitting there is just so scary. All right, Beast I back mean, throw into the oh, back air. Oh. Not going to be enough. 44% oh. on Hydra. Your time may be ticking. Don't shield up there. Beast trying to read it with the back air. I actually feel like the up air would have been the smarter oh. option here, but good punish by Hydra with the back air. Last stock. And so oh. far, it's very, very close. Honestly, like if Hydra's, if Hydra's still able to uh, make something happen here, but just like beast on that squirtle once again. I, mean, I think it's Ooh, hard commit. Oh my god. Yeah, that hard commit to the downer there was a little bit risky, especially going by the trajectory, which way, like Hydra kind of dropped below the ledge there. Very odd, but now B is gonna try and get as much percentage as possible on Squirtle before he has to switch. I see this time and time again against players playing against PT. Like they see Squirtle come on the last stock and they're like, oh, I can cheese this stock, I can win this. Yep. And they get they go for like something like crazy like that down air there. And that's how you lose. You get hit with this jab block and you lose the game. Straight up. Yeah. Speak of the devil, speak of the turtle. That's it. Speak of the turtle. Game number one, going to, uh, going to Beast. Yep, that was a very, very hard fought uh, game. The, that was definitely a really good showing of both players and what they're really good at. Mm -hmm. Once again, Hydra does a really great job of taking space and commanding it. A couple missed aerial opportunities where there should have been like a down, instead of the down air, maybe a back air would have covered a little bit more room. But yeah, yeah. once again, I mean, these are both two 
players that are very dominant at their character. I feel like Hydra, once again, some aerials need to change, maybe some positioning, maybe gives Beast a little bit more space, but I think Beast doing a really good job of holding his own, staying very calm. The Zard did what it needed to do. I think I think Hydra's kind of struggling here because Hydra's really good at controlling center stage and controlling the space. But you can't control the space when Beast just comes in and just takes it from you. <laughs> like, oh no, we're scrapping, we're fighting, we're 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 in the alley, we're going for it. Hit? No way. No, no, no he, shot. Okay. Oh, Alright, yeah, we're yeah. just resetting just our control okay. Listen, that's not Luminous, and I heard Luminous is playing the frog right now, so uh <laughs> I bro, bro, the Luminous Greninja don't sleep. I, I would never sleep. But I, Hollow Bastion's going to be the pick here. I think it's a great stage for Palutena. Up air, couple up airs will just do you in for your stock here. So really good pick from Hydra. But let's see how long Hydra can extend this Palutena pain train for. Because you know what? He's looking for those up airs right now. Great down air neutral. Exactly. Hydra's gonna kind of go into this game like, okay, if he's not gonna give me that space, and I'm gonna take what I'm gonna take what I can get. I'm gonna go for these crazy combos myself. Yep. Squirrel's not the only character that can do 50 off of like three aerials. He's gonna be able to snap the ledge with the roll on once again. This is what Hydra's known for. These edge guards are uh -oh. fantastic. The run up grab. Yeah, but once again, like I was talking about, some of these aerials, man. Uh -oh. uh, we know that Hydra has the read on the back air, but if he just waited a quick second, it would have been done for a little bit quicker. Up oh smash, God, not gonna connect. Smash. So let's see what Beast can get here. Up air oh. into the back here not gonna be able to hit though here comes hydra though wants to get rid of this stock just saying you know what i'm i'm not here for giant at 60. i'm not dealing with the bizarre right now bro yeah. I, I take the stock away please mm -hmm. i think hydra we're seeing hydra drop these uh these uh conversions because like it's so scary if you don't have that that time that peace of mind in neutral you're like once you have those opportunities you're gonna be like oh crap i threw out the wrong option you second guess everything you're doing we're seeing that coming off from hydra right now I feel like beast can kind of a uh, so hold on to this rage you can take the soccer at 63. Ooh. Ooh, that was it was definitely looking that way for a quick second down throw Ooh, oh trying to God. find the fair but i think Please. hydra knows at this Please. point who oh, goes for the tomahawk yeah doesn't find it but gonna be able oh. to power through oh that was crazy. gonna be able to power through the explosive flame but of course hydra did have enough time to shield and punish great by hydra is gonna be able to hold on to the stock lead now so let's see what beast is gonna be able to do out of it nice snare out of shield but once again he's looking for that trip into the f smash but i think this is perfect time for hydra to take advantage of how kind of risky beast wants to play exactly if you're down to stop that risky play, is gonna Ooh. go from holding Angles. that. Oh my God! That risky nice. play. Go, oh wow! Okay, all right. That risky play goes from being your biggest asset to being your biggest weakness. Yeah, very true. I mean, okay. if he's able to take this damage, I mean, if he's, if he's on score once he's at 54, if he can get that combo started, he'll, he'll be fine. He'll be back in the driver's seat. Yep. I just not want to let him reclaim that driver's seat. Ooh, great parry! Gonna pick up the combo once again. 49%. Like you, oh my like God. you said, uh, Momo. I mean, it's basically even off of just one Squirtle combo. The nairs at a shield have been fantastic. Let's see. Hydra just has no idea what to do right now. I feel like Hydra's just trying to find like that one off hit. I feel like if he's able to find uh -huh. the Nair, it's going to be a much different story. But once again, Beast doing a wow. better job now of mixing up how he gets off of ledge too, because we know that Hydra's been fantastic at edge guarding. Good air dodge though to get out of the range oh, of the up air, but the yeah. third time's the charm. Hydra going down to their One last stock. Gonna, that's, that, you're going to get hit by that up air. Yeah, Hydra going down to their last stock. Beast only at 78. You know he's going to stick on Zard at least for as long as possible to gain as much percentage as possible. Exactly. Any extra credit with PT is, is good extra credit. Yep. Uh-oh. All right. There you go. Back to ledge. Joel's playing so good at this ledge yep. right now. Beast playing so good at this ledge right now. I know you caught that. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. That's that Bear's commentary coming out. Yeah, that's true. Back air, though, from Hydra. It's all about this edge guard right here, right now. He's looking for the back air, which would definitely do him in. But once again, these tomahawks oh from Hydra God. have been fantastic. He's just backing up, using the shield. It's so good. And now forcing Beast to kind of approach him and put himself at kind of danger here. Hydra's just kind of struggling to find though. these stocks at deficits. It's just like, you saw Beast be able to find that. Hydra's just not able to find these confirms right now. Okay, well, you don't really need to confirm you have that back there at ledge. I actually feel like maybe Beast could have DI'd that a little bit better, but it is what it is. Palutena got to let again. it go. Maybe he just wants to play Squirtle again. Maybe he just missed his Turtle Boy. I do think that Squirtle does the best at consistently stacking up damage, uh -huh. at least on Palutena, more than the other Mon. I feel like Ivysaur definitely has her uses, but definitely not right now. While you're still at low percent, oh, that no. switch was red uh, to the library and back, and now B is going to switch to get uh -oh. away from the back air. But the back oh, hit of the no. Palutena Nair going to force him up front. Let's see what Beast is going to do. He has to choose a decisive way to recover, but now Hydra going to be able to find that Nair. Tomahawk again. Oh Great air that? dodge. Actually... Hydra going all the way down. I don't know if that no! was the right choice, but the wow. air dodge in was red. And that is Hydra Damn. taking back this set, saying, you know what? You're not going to throw me down that easy. 
That was a crazy switch read into an insane air dodge read. And Hydra with those just off two reads steals the game right back. Yeah. Very, Very good stuff. Yeah. Game two to go into Hydra. Wow. That was insane. This was so strong. Hydra going all the way down. You know Beast. I thought that was that. it, but look, look at this. He expected the bat. He just, wow. Yeah, Joel you, shaking his head, too. You're so crazy you know going for that, like, like that on last stock, last situation. You gotta. You gotta. I mean, it worked. Yep. All right. Well, game number three between both these two players. Uh, honestly, such a great set. Going back to Hollow, I actually disagree with this. Depending on what Hydra banned, I actually feel like this uh, small battlefield may have been like a better choice here. But if anybody knows Beast, you're not letting him go to town and city. Uh -huh. So let's see. I feel see like definitely that was that first ban. <laughs> yeah, right. Here we go, though. I mean, can't find all the way with the Squirtle. Going to be able to pick it right back up. There we but go. Okay. they're stuck. I mean, they're percent for percent. Oh, my God. Oh, good I, night. That's oh, gone. Wow. That's a great start for Beast. See, Beast hasn't gone for that uh, too much. And the thing is, like, if you let you start, you lack. Um, you, Oh my god. You don't fear Squirrel as long you don't give yeah. Squirrel enough respect, that happens. You're just yep. gone, you're out of there. Yo, know, Squirrel's not that awful. Isn't this I oh, Ivy Sword, yeah, but I have that water gun. Yeah. And you're out of there. Oh my god, team 61% too. Going for Put it some again. respect on this turtle. Ooh, oh, can't find it again, god. Beast. Hydra. Uh, What's happening? It's not even Hydra's fault, I feel like. Beast is just putting Hydra in some very odd situations. Already down three stocks to one. Ooh, gonna pick it back up with the nail. Oh my god! I'm very surprised that it wasn't down air the first time, but Hydra gonna be able to find a down air bear of his own. So now here we go. I, I feel like Beast has realized that he has to stop jumping. Exactly. I mean, it's been working too. Yeah. Uh, Hydra needs to make some kind of statement right now. I think Beast was kind of starting that game. Like, all right, that's it. Like, I know you've been going uh -oh. crazy with your mouth. Uh -oh. oh, my, my God. God. He's out Joel. of there. Wow. No, Hydra's over it. You see it on his face. And Beast taking the set 2 1. That was kind of a sad game three, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I mean, Beast got his. He got his uh, run Listen, back. man, I, as much as I love like funny haha -ha cheese, I don't love funny haha -ha cheese two times in a row. Like, th uh, these water guns were so sad. But good on Beast for adjusting because Hydra was definitely reading all the jumps and then just 73. Good Lord. <laughs> he, he I think knew it was, too. Yeah, yeah, he was over it. Yeah. I don't Do know about all that. you think Beast was just saving it for that game theory? Kind of just like. No. I'm, he just. He, I feel like Beast got, like, definitely it. pumped himself up and was like, you know what? Now I'm going to hit you. Like, I, I, I kind of cheesed you enough. Now I'm going to hit you. Exactly. And uh, right. that's what happened. And that's going to be Beast going up 2 uh, 1, heading on into what I believe is going to now be top 32. 